If you've ever wanted to visit the snow to experience hashtag Winter Wonderland vibes, but aren't prepared, your trip could turn into this. Alright, alright, alright. Most likely it will not go with that bad, but there's still certain things that you can bring that'll save you from some possibly bad situations on your trip. Luckily, I've been snowboarding around the world for the last 14 years, and I'm gonna tell you what my top 10 items are to bring on a snowboard trip that you might not think of or see in other lists online. So let's get into it. Also, all of these products are gonna be linked in the description, so if you see anything you like, there's an easy way to buy it. All right, to start with, you're gonna wanna have the right base layers with you. That's your socks, leggings that you wear under your snow pants, your long sleeve shirt that you have underneath your other layers. And it is so important to have base layers made out of the right material. Cotton is no good for the snow. It gets wet, it stays wet, it doesn't help insulate you. So you're gonna wanna look at some base layers that are made out of materials that are actually gonna help you in the snow. And one of the best things that you can get is wool. There's brands like Smart Wool and just other snowboard companies that will make wool stuff if you shop around online. But I do highly recommend Smart Wool. Their website has all sorts of different pieces of clothing that are gonna help you out and keep you warm. Other material that's good is polar fleece. So just do some research on that and make sure you bring clothing that's the right material that's gonna keep you warm and dry and having fun. Also, while we're talking about clothing, bring more layers than you think you'll need, just in case the weather changes or it's colder than you expect, because it's better to have them and not use it than to need it and not have it. Next up on the list, this is specific to if you are driving to the snow, but you're gonna wanna make sure you have tire chains or cables. You really don't wanna be in a situation where all of a sudden it's snowing, you can't get traction, and now you're stuck because you just can't control your car, or worse, you get in a terrible accident. I've had situations myself where I've done full 180s on the freeway in Colorado and I've slid sideways through an oncoming lane that luckily had no one in it. Driving in the snow is no joke and you want to be prepared for it. Usually as you get closer to the mountains, the Walmarts that are around will definitely be carrying chains and cables in the winter time. And you have to make sure you get the ones that specifically fit your tire size. So because of this, you can't always just borrow chains from a friend. You're going to want to get ones that are specific to your car along with chains. Also in gas stations, as you approach the mountains, they're gonna sell leather gloves and different thick kind of work gloves in usually the trucker section. Get a pair of those because I have had to put chains on in just snowy, icy conditions. And when I tell you my entire hands were white, they were completely numb. I had no feeling in my hands and I'm on the side of the highway. My chains are breaking. I'm trying to fix them. And meanwhile, my fingers were just raw frozen. Touching metal in the cold is not always awesome. And then check conditions too. You don't need to install your chains just because you're going to the mountains. You know, if it is actively snowing and the snow is accumulating, that's when you're gonna wanna put your chains on. But driving in chains on a dry road is not good for anyone. One of my favorite things to always have with me in the mountains are hand warmers. There's lots of different brands of these. You can get them in the grocery store or online. And there's different sizes too. This is a big one that can go across your back. There's little ones that can fit inside your gloves, but these can really make a miserable day turn around. There are so many times that I have been like not feeling it on the mountain. I'm just like cold and miserable and someone will give me a hand warmer to use and all of a sudden the day turns around. So always bring some of these when you go to the mountains because just having that extra warmth can really lift your spirits and you know help you keep going all day when it's really too cold to go without these. Phones are notorious and GoPros are notorious for having their batteries just die in the cold. You know, that cold weather is not good, especially when you're listening to music or you're filming videos, texting your friends your phone is not gonna make it through the day. So you're gonna wanna bring an external battery with you that you can charge your phone on. This one is too big, it's heavy, it's clunky, and it's not gonna fit in your pocket well. I'd say this is like the max size that you'd wanna have with you, but it's nice to have it just in your pocket to charge. You can even get smaller ones. I'll show some examples here. Just little external batteries that can give your phone, you know, one extra full battery is going to help so much because no one wants a dead phone, especially if you get separated from your friends on the mountain and now you have no way to contact them. 
or you have a charger with you and now you have to go sit in the lodge for an hour while your phone charges, you don't want that. Get one of these and just keep it in your pocket so you can keep going all day and not worry about a dead battery. This next one is a personal favorite of mine. You might have seen me go viral at the Olympics for finishing my pipe run and pulling a steamed bun out of my pocket. I will live and die by my pocket snacks. There are a lot of reasons that I advocate for keeping some little snacks in your pockets when you're shredding. So let's get into it. First off, food at resorts is crazy expensive. Like you're talking $12 for a slice of pizza or you know, like $20 for a hamburger. No one wants that. Also during lunchtime, the lines in the lodge for food can get so crazy long. You can spend over an hour just waiting for your food, eating it, getting your stuff back on, and then you lose half of the day. I feel like if I eat an entire meal in the middle of the day snowboarding, I just don't feel the same when I go back out. I'll feel heavy, sluggish, kind of uncomfortable. So a little Ziploc baggie with a good energy sustaining snack will be your best friend. I'm talking nuts, jerky, trail mix, anything like that that can give you some complex carbs or proteins or energy to just keep you going. And then when you're done riding, go have a good meal after that. But there's no reason you've got to waste an hour of your day, more money out of your pocket and feeling good just to eat at the lodge. Bring your own snacks. And while we're on the topic of feeling good, let's talk sun protection. A lot of people who have never been up to the snow before probably don't even realize how badly you can get sunburn on the mountains. You think, oh, snow, winter time, I'm not gonna have a sunburn, that's for the beach in summer. But you're so wrong. At those high altitudes where the air is thinner, those UV rays are getting you. The white snow is reflecting all the rays back out of your skin. So if you have any skin exposed, if you're wearing goggles and nothing on the bottom half of your face or you take your mittens off, that sun is reflecting and it is killing you. So you're gonna wanna bring a good sunscreen. I really like Sunbum. They have lots of different levels of SPF and most of them, if not all of them, are water resistant. They have good ingredients in them. Also Sunbum and other companies as well sell SPF chapstick. That is super important too because your lips can fry. I have gotten such bad sunburns on my lips and literally for like at least a week afterwards, your lips are just peeling and they hurt and it's uncomfortable and you can't smile and nobody wants sunburned lips. If you've never sunburned your lips, just take my word on it, it's terrible. Get SPF lip balm as well. Another essential for the mountains is a reusable water bottle. You're not necessarily gonna carry this around while you're snowboarding, but if you have it with you on your trip, you're gonna be encouraging yourself to drink water more, which is really important because up at the elevation that these ski resorts are at, it is so easy to get dehydrated. So you need to be drinking more water than you normally would at sea level. So having a water bottle with you is just a way to encourage yourself to fill it up, drink more, fill it up, drink more, keep it going, drink, 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 drink. Also along with drinking, if you're planning on partaking in alcohol on your ski trip, which a lot of people do, be careful. Most people who come from low levels don't realize how much more quickly alcohol will affect you at elevation. Someone who, you know, can drink 10 beers down at sea level, when they get up to that ski resort, they drink two and they're feeling it. So be careful, pace yourself. Don't drink too quickly because skiing and snowboarding like that is super dangerous. It will also make you more dehydrated. So just drink water, drink up. <laughs> Another thing on my list for that high elevation is gonna be bringing Advil or ibuprofen of some kind. A lot of people who come from sea level and aren't used to the altitude deal with altitude sickness, which can leave them feeling disoriented, headaches, unwell, nauseous, just all sorts of bad things. Some people get really affected and get really sick, but a lot of people are just on the lower end of the spectrum where they'll get really bad headaches up at that altitude. So having some Advil can really help you combat that altitude sickness. Next up for your beautiful skin, you're gonna wanna bring a nice face moisturizer. This is Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I use this one a lot, but whatever moisturizer you use, bring it. Again, with that altitude, it affects your skin more than you think. It's so dry and the air is so thin that it's really rough on your skin. You know, your face may start flaking or peeling. Your knuckles can get really dry and start peeling, especially the cuticles around your fingertips. 
So having some kind of moisturizer to keep that moisture in your skin is gonna be really good. Be good to yourself, use moisturizer. All right, this last item on my list, number 10, is a little more generic, but it's gonna be any hard to get item. So I'm talking about something you may not pack because you're like, mm, I'm probably not gonna need it in the next two days or three days, however long your trip is. But if it's something that you might need, like some kind of medication that you don't always take, but might need, or a specialty charger for a device that you think will last, but maybe needs to get charged. These ski resorts are often in pretty remote areas where you might not have access to a big Best Buy type of situation, or you might not be able to do an overnight Amazon delivery for something you need. Mountain towns have toothpaste and toothbrushes and contact solution, but if you have some sort of specialty thing, um, if you use a skincare product, but you only use a certain brand, you know, that type of situation, like you might not be able to find your specific brand in the mountains. There might only be a small general store with generic products. So if it's something that is not easy to replace in a remote location, just bring it just to be safe because you don't want to be out there in the mountains and realize you did need that thing and now it's impossible to get and your trip is ruined because of it. Well guys, that is my list of 10 things that will hopefully make your first trip to the mountains an awesome one with no problems, no drama. If there's anything I forgot, drop it in the comments below, help everyone else out. If there's any tips that you've thought of or things that have saved you in situations, share it with the community. Let's help each other out and have an awesome time out there in the mountains. Have fun.